So it feels like car enthusiasts are getting attacked again and again. So if you live in California and you are a car enthusiast, well, if your car has been tuned, it now won't pass smog. So smog inspectors in California specifically are now looking for illegal tunes on vehicles. Let's talk about it. All right, guys, so uh, welcome back to another episode of Talking Mods. On today's uh, latest topic, this is actually from yesterday's news during a conversation that happened between the Bureau of Automotive Repair, known as BAR in California. Uh, they discussed what would happen, what's going to happen now with emissions uh, smog. This is actually happening on Monday, July 19th. So what's happening, guys, is if you have your car tuned in any way, if you have a you know, a chip, a modification to the tune of your vehicle, and it goes into smog and it's seen by the smog inspectors, all smog inspectors starting Monday, then they will basically not pass you for smog. Are you kidding me? So what is the bar estimating? What's going on, right? I mean, this is pretty radical in California. I hope other states are not adopting this. I mean, we knew this was kind of coming. The EPA has talked about, you know, tunes being illegal, but now they're checking for it on the smog level. So on the state level, at the smog shops, they are now checking for it. So be aware of this, guys. That's the num number one message here. But what does this mean? In California, they're, they're expecting five to 10 vehicles to fail per day for the following 10,000 inspections. So that's what their estimates are showing. That's quite high. Now, I know that a lot of tunes that are available out there, you can remove them. I don't know um, if you guys can remove it before you go in for smog. Some tunes do leave a remnant. I don't know if they're checking for that. I don't know how long it's gonna take. This would require quite a bit of thorough inspection. I wonder if smogs in California are gonna be more expensive because of this. And if this happens, if this is actually an acceptable type of program, is the EPA gonna try and enforce that across other states is really my big question that's gonna happen here. Hopefully not. It, it's, it can set a precedence and this is kind of a bad thing. Now in the marketplace, they're not being sold. Now I do know that some people have custom tunes and so forth that they've paid a lot of money for it. So you guys need to look into that. You need to see is how can you remove it before you go in for your smog because obviously you want to be able to pass it and not have to deal with this issue. So that's kind of the main thing of this. The purpose of this video is, hey, starting Monday, July 19th, 2021, they are going to be looking for it if you live in California. If this gets adopted otherwise, I will let you guys know. Um, I think, I mean, it is being adopted otherwise by the EPA, but it has not been officially stated by any of the smogs or states that they are going to be checking your tunes. Again, tunes can leave a remnant. I have seen this multiple times where they leave a code, hey, this vehicle has been tuned. Now this happens with BMWs, it happens on a lot of different vehicles, where there is remnants of it. Simpler ECUs, they don't leave it, but more complicated ECUs, even Porsche ECUs, will leave it on there. You can't see it, so uh, just be aware of that. Now guys, according to the bar, it's not gonna be a big deal to fix it. Basically, all you have to do is put your OEM software back on. Usually most tunes have that. Let's say it's a Cobb Access port, you can just upload back up your existing OEM one. Worst case scenario, just in case I'm getting questions about this, go to your local dealership. They will be able to get you that software. It will cost um, a, a penny there, quite a penny there. Um, at least $1,000 would be my estimate for most vehicles, unfortunately. But it can be put back onto your vehicle since you are the owners of it and they just look up your VIN, they put on the, the existing ECU. That's the fix. Now, um, we'll see what happens, guys. I'm looking forward to your comments. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. It always helps us out. And hopefully you guys enjoyed this short one. Thanks again.